Are you looking for fresh new VR games that you've never played or even heard of before? But everywhere you look it's the same games that keep getting recommended to you. Well have no fear, Whackman is here. Today I'm going to give you 8 free new VR games on the quest that you probably have never heard of. So if you find something you like make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Talking about something you like, remember we have our 60k subscriber special still on. Where as soon as we hit 60k the winner gets to choose any VR game they want. From the Quest, the Pico or even the PSVR 2. To enter, simply like the video, subscribe to the channel, put on bell notifications and comment hashtag Whackman60k down below. Well, let's get straight into the video. Alright, now this list isn't in any order. So, number 1, Glass Breakers. Now, Glass Breakers Champions of Moss is an exciting game of tactics, magic and power. It's a 1v1 real-time butler that puts you face to face with your opponents and their squad for action. In the game, players choose their combination of three champions from a growing roster of the most heroic, villainous and notorious inhabitants from the world of Moss. Each champion has their own unique abilities that complement the others and their squad and match up against the opponent in a myriad of consequential ways. You have three champions and each character only carries one special ability. They will auto attack as soon as the enemy is in range and you can send them out and recall them with just a flick of the controller. Now because this is a 1v1 real time battler, the players are able to see each other. They can see the moves that the opponent might be queuing up. It's like a small League of Legends in VR. Now the game is easy to pick up but difficult to master. And the board is huge, giving you an even greater sense of being a giant over these cute little fighters. And because of the type of game it is, it's easy for the new VR players. Now the game is in early access which means there might be some issues. But it's free for now so check it out. Number 2. 4 VR Suck It this is a unique game developed by 4VR. It's a strategy game that's currently in early access. Here you are equipped with high tech vacuum suckers that can collect anything that fits. You can use your jetpacks or traverse up and across the landscape with these. The game allows you to go from a perspective of a dog to a dinosaur sucking up coins to cars. You can see and feel what it's like to grow into a giant. The game offers online PvP where you can steal the stars of other players. It has low poly graphics. It looks like quite a lot of brain dead fun. The game is currently in beta so check it out before it becomes paid. Number 3. Dish It Now this is a distinctive fitness game designed to engage players in the interactive hand tracking experience. The central objective is to break as many virtual plates, bowls and vases as possible while navigating around virtual explosives to achieve the highest score. One of the key features of the game is hand tracking that enables you to interact with the game's virtual environment using natural hand movements. The dish punching mechanism is actually interesting as well and is the core feature the gameplay revolves around which is smashing virtual crockery providing a unique form of physical activity within the game. And as well as stress release. Players earn points by dodging bombs and successfully smashing items adding a competitive aspect to the experience. Like I said the dish punching mechanism can serve as an unconventional stress relief activity providing an outlet for pent up frustration. Now there are obviously negatives as well as the game's concept may not resonate with all players. It is basically just a punching game as you've probably seen quite a few times. And the hand tracking can obviously cause issues. But Meta have done actually a pretty good job with the quest hand tracking. But overall, since it's free right now, I would give it a go. Number 4. Bumpy R. Now Bumpy R is a new co-op party game that brings the fun of bumper cars to virtual reality. Here your Meta avatar drives a bumper car. The objective of the game is simple. Bump, not drive. You can play with up to 6 players and the doo doos located all over the map. Now it is a cooperative game where the goal is to knock your friends off the colour changing platform. The last person standing wins, or sitting. You can throw water balloons at your opponent similar to power ups in Mario Kart. The game includes an element of unpredictability as well with falling tiles that you must avoid. Otherwise you're going down. Now this is actually a bit of a unique experience. The cooperative gameplay and interactive elements like throwing water balloons adds an extra layer of excitement. Since it's free make sure you get all your friends to try it out. Number 5. Velocity Rush here you dive into the virtual realm of Velocity Rush, a VR platformer that delivers a thrilling experience that is both easy to pick up and intensely challenging. Unleash your inner speedster as you navigate through thrilling levels. Now in terms of control you just need one input, which is jump, making the game easy to play for everyone. The game is tailor made for players seeking a seamless and user friendly VR encounter, with single input controls that make it effortless to jump right into the action. So you'll find yourself swiftly manoeuvring through high speed scenarios, weaving through obstacles and making split second decisions that test your reflexes and wits. Each stage presents new hurdles and complexity that are quite immersive. Now the game does look like Tron and essentially you're just running straight but the obstacles make the game exciting. So check out Velocity Rush. Number 6. Deliver Riders In Deliver Riders you get a first taste of your future of food delivery. 
you navigate the bustling streets of New Saba City on a high-speed hoverboard. There are challenging missions to see how fast you can make the deliveries and you need to watch out for the traffic that can run you over and even drones that you need to capture. Plus, there's a speedometer that shows you how fast you are going. If you're into customization, you can even customize your hoverboard. Now, the only caveat to this game is that it can make you feel a little nauseous, especially with the type of movement you end up doing. It's nowhere near the quality of VR Skater, but it is actually a fun delivery challenging type of game. But only play this if you have an actual strong stomach, otherwise you'll be puking all over the place. Number 7. Art of Combat Now this has been said to be the most advanced VR fighting game to date. You will have to train your striking, evasion, blocking and special power skills to become the toughest fighter. You can improve your stamina, body strength and technique while you have a great fighting time. You fight against 12 unique fighters with a complete set of martial art techniques and combos, with 15 different special powers. It's a fast paced game that keeps you engaged. The game is actually like Mortal Kombat but in VR, which is actually a really good sign. Now there is kicking in the game but it feels a bit weird. It kind of looks like you're hitting them with your other thing instead of your leg. Now the game has come out with a full version, so this version that I've linked has become a demo. But I recommend you check this out anyway, it's actually really cool. Plus it will give you a taste of if you enjoy the combat. So check out Art of Combat. Alright last but not least, Last Mech Standing. Now Last Mech Standing is a roguelike arcade style shoot 'em up. There are colossal monsters called Behemoth which have laid waste to the cities across the world. You are the pilot of the Crimson Slayer, the last giant mech and humanity's last hope. It's kind of like the movie Pacific Rim, although I haven't really seen any really big monsters, but they're big enough. The gameplay involves slashing, smashing and shooting your way through hundreds of creatures. As you progress you can level up and unlock powerful weapons. You can use melee swords, pistols or your ultimate attack of pure firepower. The game also involves solving the mystery behind the origins of the invasion. So there is a story progression as well, although it's not really award winning. And the further you progress, the harder the enemies get. Now the game is currently in beta, so the first two levels are playable. Now remember, free games seem to go paid often. So if you're interested in any of these, make sure you download and play them straight away, as you might not get a chance later on. Well, that's all folks. These are the cool new VR games that have come out recently for the Quest. Have you tried these? Let me know in the comments. Also, don't forget to enter the giveaway. You could win any VR game you want. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe and see you next time.